How's it going out there, American truckers? Hope all of y'all are doing great, staying safe, staying out of trouble, all them good things. Well, I know it's been a little while since I posted regular videos, so here you go. Um, I had been vlogging this entire load. I picked up a load in Kings Mountain, North Carolina, and it is going out to Kent, Washington. All right. So I've been vlogging this entire load every day and adding to it in my editing app on my phone. Man, I had some killer shots, like uh, some of my dash cam footage going through Chicago when uh, I'd even throwed the traffic where it was going in reverse with some music in the background. Lost it all. I got in there today, uh, went to go add today's to it and noticed that all my video from before was deleted. My sound was still there, but the video was gone. So I found that if I delete it, because I had cleared out some space in my in my phone. So I found that if I delete anything in my phone, it automatically deletes it in the app. So got me all, all discombobulated, man. Kind of frustrating. Uh, put a lot of work into, into that and lost all that. But now that I know that, lesson learned, I lost all that, but I'm going to be continuing to vlog this trip daily, and I know just not to delete it out of my phone. Um, I would like to, at the very end, hopefully if everything works out right, try to uh, video the crane taking what I'm hauling off of me. By the way, at the end of this video, you're going to see... Um, I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm what I'm hauling and tell you a little bit about it, and also a truck tour uh, at the end of this video. I had filmed a little bit of a truck tour before I ever put any of my stuff into it. Whenever I picked the truck up in orientation and taking it back to the hotel, so I, I loaded that and uh, and uh, what I'm hauling at the end of this video. The truck tour I still had in my phone so I was able to able to salvage that and you know so anyway if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe all that good stuff going here at hunt everything's great uh, so far so good uh, plenty of miles uh, even dropping hooks still have yet to tarp a load um, it's, it's been awesome really awesome and for those of y'all that are new to my channel no not hunt not JB hunt hunt transportation out of Omaha Nebraska it's a flatbed carrier real small company about 120 drivers um, it is a part of the Creek family, but it is a separate entity, has its own numbers, has its own terminal, all that, all that, uh, all that good stuff. But, uh, a couple things that are off topic that I kind of wanted to touch base on that I never spoke on. I kind of kept it to myself, uh, but in talking to another driver, you know, I decided to go ahead and put this out in a video. You know the young man that was in Colorado that uh, killed some people? I think he killed four and injured six or something like that. Um, coming down the mountain, lost his brakes, right? You know, I never really put my own personal opinion in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into get into that. I know some of y'all may agree or some of y'all may disagree. This is only my personal opinion. Regardless of what happened coming down the mountain, regardless. All right, I, I'm not even worried about it. I'm not even worried about him passing up the runaway truck ramp. I'm not worried about whether he did his pre-trip properly, whether he was trained to break properly. I'm not worried about none of that. The part that that stands out in my mind is that the 
let's say the last minute or two when he sees traffic stopped he knew at that moment it was either hit them or ditch that truck put it in the ditch put it into the mountain put it off the road do whatever you got to do he chose to hit the people instead so I put myself in that position if it were me and if it were me in that situation I would hope that I have enough character to, to put it in the ditch okay yeah I may not survive putting it in the ditch or putting it into the mountain it may kill me but it's better to kill one than to take a chance on killing all any of them people down there stopped those people down there at the bottom of the mountain stopped ain't got nothing to do with what's going wrong on this truck you know there's husbands wives kids fathers mothers everything and i think as drivers we have some responsibility to protect the motoring public so in my personal opinion when he was coming down that mountain when he saw traffic stop and he made the choice to hit them and use them as his stopper, as his buffer or whatever. Instead of putting it in a ditch, he chose not to put it in the ditch because he thought he had a better chance if he hit them. So in my opinion, he was basically saying his life was more valuable than theirs. So did he deserve to go to prison? Sure. How much time he deserves? I don't know. Now that, I have no clue. Um, I know he killed some people. Some people didn't go home. Some families buried their loved ones. Um, would he have survived if he put it in the ditch? Who knows? Maybe and maybe not. Some drivers do, some drivers don't. But that's what I would have done. I'd have done my best to put it in the ditch and try to lay it over on the passenger side if I'm gonna lay it over. You know what I'm saying? Try not to put it on the, uh, put it on, put it on the driver's side. But that's just me. That's how I view it. Uh, when I trained students, I used to tell them, you know, even back then, and if some of y'all are watching, man, y'all can comment and back me up on this, but I used to tell them that if something goes wrong, you may have to make that choice one day, whether it's you or them. And you, your inner self, your selfishness is going to want to protect yourself. But you got to do what's right you know so that may mean as a driver putting your life in danger by putting it in the ditch to protect others in a situation like that or running it you know running the passenger side up against the mountain doing whatever you can do to get the truck slowed down or stopped <coughs> we as drivers have to take those things into consideration you know um, you never want to be in that position to begin with. You want to do everything you can, braking properly, coming down the hill, uh, making sure you check your, your brakes before you start your day. Uh, if you do notice that your, your brakes are starting to smoke, watch your mirrors. And if you notice they're starting to smoke, try to get stopped. Try to get stopped off the side of the road, let them cool off. Find you a spot if you can. That's not always possible, but find you a spot if you can. And then, last case scenario, don't pass up the runaway truck ramp. Now, it was just really bad odds that traffic was stopped at the bottom. He probably planned on rolling it at the bottom and coming to a stop. It just happened that traffic was stopped down there. But he should have never passed up the, off the runaway truck ramp. But sometimes drivers don't want to do that because they feel like, oh, I can save it. I don't want to have to pay a toll bill or get in trouble because I put it on the ramp. I'd rather get in trouble with my company for putting it on that off ramp, putting it on that runaway truck ramp, and not have any loss of life than to be worried about getting in trouble and killing somebody or killing myself. So now think about it. Had he put it on the, on the runaway truck ramp, at the very worst, he would have lost his job. Probably would have went to work somewhere else right away. All right now he's sitting in prison for what he got 10 years he's going to do four or five of it at least you know so 
he'd have been better just putting it on the on the ramp, putting it on the runaway truck ramp, right? That's just my thought on that. Um, I know it's kind of late in the game, but I never did put my personal opinion out there, and that's just my personal opinion. That's how I feel about it. But anyway, I hope all y'all are staying safe out there. I'm gonna put uh put those two videos here. They're short. One's gonna be what uh what I'm hauling, and the other one is gonna be uh, the truck tour, and right here. Well, drivers, here it is. What big ass air conditioning unit? Chain down. It had some uh, covers paste or kind of taped on it. You can see some of the tape still there. They didn't last five miles. The covers fell off. There was one there and one down here, you know, where their ducking comes into it. But since this thing's going outside, you know, it shouldn't have hurt a whole lot. But they did have, a, which you can see some of the tape down there. They did have some like plastic taped over it, but it didn't last five miles, literally five miles. And it was, uh, it was gone. Get a good look. But there's the unit. Uh, almost 9,000 pounds. It's like 8,700 pounds, something like that. So there she is. That's what I'm hauling from uh, Kings Mountain, North Carolina to uh, Kent, Washington. See y'all in a bit. Welcome back. I'm here at the hotel getting ready to set my truck up. It's a 2017 Freightliner Cascadia. Got a nice bed in it. I just took the plastic off of it. A little refrigerator. No double bump. Just got the storage up top in the back. Um, of course, my TV will mount right there. Small closet, but it's got a closet. It's got off the auto. And of course, it's got the anti-theft device right there. Or it should call it the millennial anti-theft device. 10 speed. Oh, it's time for me to get this started. The joy of trucking. Moving all my shit to the, into the new truck. Pretty good size AC unit there, ain't it? Uh, yeah, the truck is, I really miss that top bump. I've been having to use the ed edge of my bed. As you can see behind me, I got my TV mounted back there. It's already mounted on the wall, all that stuff. Um, but anyway, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate all y'all that do stop by and watch my channel. I know there's plenty of content out there from drivers for you to choose from. And yet you stop by and spend 20 minutes with me. And I really appreciate that. I appreciate all of y'all that support the channel. Share this out. And like I said, I'm going to be vlogging the last half of this trip, which would be Montana, uh, Idaho, and... Washington and hopefully catching the crane being able to video the crane when it pulls it pulls it off the deck getting all that for y'all so that's going to be pretty interesting that should be my next video and uh, look forward to seeing y'all then y'all take care don't forget like and subscribe oh snapper I'm out